morning. We are just at our local feed shop and we need to go get some feed because we're literally running low. <laughs> so I just thought we'd take you along with us and yeah, we see need what we to buy. See what they've got in stock if they've actually got. We've also our feed. spotted some lovely carrots and apples, so we're mm. gonna give them a nice little treat. Yeah, and it was Amaretto's birthday on was it Wednesday? Oh, Tuesday. No, Wednesday. When was you? Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. You wasn't well. And I was ill, so I got a happy birthday over FaceTime from Mummy. But yeah, I, I'm ill, and my throat was absolutely killing me. I well. know. But I've been taking that numbing spray, and it's actually really good. Right, so we're just going to head into our local feed shop. I'm going to do sort of an update with Amaretto because we've all got very exciting things happening. Amaretto is going to a boot camp, so we sort of need to get her prepared. But I'm not going to leak any information until she gets there. But yeah, let's Excited. go ahead and let's go get some let's feed. Go. I need a trolley. Let's pick a good one. Oh, I don't need a duo. Oh dear. That one's stuck. Let's go with this one. Mum is already at the carrots and apples. Yeah. <laughs> Love this way. Oh. So, because Amaretto is going away for boot camp, she needs to go on a specific feed. So, we've had her on the chaff, but they never have the nuts. So we're gonna have a look. But, yes, there's the food shop. So, what are you getting? Uh, well. Danny is on dingy high five molasses free. So Danny's on the dingy high five honey, molasses free. Honey has half a scoop of that. And then your ponies are on that. Do they need a bag? They do, but I feel like they're running for it very quickly. Yeah, but okay. they only have that. They don't have anything else with it, do they? So, and let's get some. so let's get another bag for the ponies. And then I'll put the nuts for Dan. And what chart do you need for... So, mum gets the high fibre plus. <laughs> mum, mum can actually tell you a little tip on these as well. The nuggets are the same from Bailey's as what's in the tub. You know, you get them green tubs with loads of little trees. So these, these are, are the sixteen pound forty-five, and I think a small bucket is ten pounds. So you're better off getting these and filling your bucket up for treats because they're really big nuggets. So, what do we have here? So, we have been asked to put Amaretto on some spillers. So, she has the conditioning fibre from spillers. It seems to be more carrying. <laughs> See, the nut she has and it has this photo on it but i don't know i don't think they have the nuts um they're called or oh, what are they called so the nut she's meant to have is like the spillers like i think they're called a light something but it's like low in sugar but i do not know where they are so we've put the one of the dingy high fibers back because we thought we'd just put um, the ponies on just a cheaper chaff and nuts just where they're not really in a lot of work so and then I just picked up this cool condition shine for Nebo so well, let's go pay Go with my jumper. <coughs> the doggy section. Doggy piggy mix. 
we going to get it in the car? I don't know. It's a little bit full at the moment with coats and dogs and God knows what. We also picked her up a horse lick garlic just because obviously she will be getting on the trailer and everything like that. And she was going to go, but she had a little fuss bringing her back. So got one of them. Mum's found the trusty tripod. Just watch mum struggle getting them in. Ridiculous, isn't it? Got a 21-year-old and a 54-year-old. And it's the 54-year-old. Anyone relate to your car? It's just looking like this. <laughs> Need to put my coat on. It's a little, it's like nice weather, but it's still a little bit cold. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi everybody. Hi. Where's Amaretto? Is she having a little sleep? Having a little sleep, girly. Oh, hello. 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 Hi. We've got some exciting. No, news. we haven't actually. No. Yeah, we're going to just have a go at it on camera, but obviously in front of you, not then you can't say nothing. Yeah. We're vlogging. Vlogging. Vlogging? Is it vlogging? Say hello. Hello. So, Simon, I'm going to interview <laughs> you. When is our arena plans going to be done? This weekend. But I thought it was last Say week. it with a smile. Oh, no. this weekend, hopefully. Bibbaloosh! Oh. oh, that's nice. <laughs> I wanted my coat on, thank you very much. It's actually quite cold. So, I've already got a coat on, but I'm going to put this coat on over the top. And then I like to wait until I get really hot. And then I can just take a layer off. So, I should find my celebs. How did you get on eating your hay nets, girl? So a bit in there, she's just a bit fussy, like she eat her, a bit of her hay net and then she'll be the same if it's on the floor. But you're the same, look. Weird. Weird. If you're wondering why we've got the blue cover on it is to stop the dirt getting on it. And I didn't realise but I always go matching. So I've got orange on. And navy. I always automatically match the ponies and I don't mean to. But look, we're in navy and blue today. <laughs> so I'm on my leg row now. I've got two hips in either side, but I've not actually had the tap him yet, so that's quite good. Uh, he feels a little bit more confident when there's another horse in front and mum's sort of hand walking one of the livery's horses because it's hurt his leg. So, mm, perfect way to get him out with another horse. Right, so I'm off to ride honey now. And yes, walking this up around one handed does hurt. Um, but I just want to quickly give you an update on Amaretto. So if you have watched my other YouTube videos, you'll realise that 
Well, you would know that I went and bought a ex racehorse from Newmarket. Uh, she just couldn't be turned out. I tried everything. I tried putting her out in a field just with electric. She run through it. Um, a field with boughs round it. So then there was just like a barrier. She just went mad. She just could not be turned out. So mum and my sister Simon kindly built us a like little pen, a turnout pen. Because she needed an area where it was small enough where she couldn't gallop around and pick up speed. Um, because that's what she'd do when she panicked, she'd just bolt and like start bucking and everything like that. Oh, one minute, saddle's hitting me out. We put her out there, and uh, for a good few weeks, she has literally been an angel. I started putting like a feed in there on the floor, so then she'd sort of eat that and then eat the grass and hay in there all the time. And also, she had Jack next door in the field so like she could touch him. And yeah, she has literally been absolutely amazing, but obviously, with the weather. Her paddock's now got Bobby, and she really built up a little connection with Jack. So, well, you know what? Let's just put her out with Jack, and honestly, they're like in love, and she's been as good as gold. She did have a little wahay, but just stopped at the electric because I think we put it round the outside of her paddock, so she sort of understood what will happen if she touches it. But yeah, so that's a little update on Amarissa. She's now out with Jack, loving life. Now, ride this little monster. Sorry if I'm gonna make an offense to the really clean people and the clean horses, but it's wet, vile weather. They're just gonna go out in the field and get muddy. So, I'm gonna give her a quick little groom, but not nothing special, show worthy. I have got, your body protector under here, but it's just a little bit, a little bit cold. Let's go, let's go. Let's go get to the mountain block. Let's go, let's go, honey buns. It's murder on the dance floor. But you better not kill the ground. Hey, 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 hey. It's murder on the dance floor. But you better not steal the moves. DJ, gonna burn this goddamn house. Just back from the calf, still feeling a little bit funny, like headachey, throat hurt, so I feel like it's not going away. But I'm just gonna 
Mocha, Amaretto, Nebo. Get them mucked out. The liveries are already mucked out before we went to the calf, just because we like to get them done. And then in our own spare time, we get our own horses done. Round here is a little bit of a mess. We've got things put away. My hat's around here because I'm hoping to get Nebo ridden. I just feel so ill. Um, yeah. Let's just need some muck Amaretto out. So I've just mucked out Nebo and Amaretto and then I've also sorted out their feeds because obviously we bought some feeds for the feed shop. But when I actually looked in the tins, sort of Amaretto's chaff was next to Nebo's stable side. And it was just a little bit confusing if anyone but me was making their feeds. So I've had to swap it all around, rename everything. And yeah, it's all done now. So I'm just going to go around to find mum and see what she's getting up to. So the pony block needs mucking out. These two, not too bad. Willow's just been brought in. It's four o'clock now. Running a little bit behind. And Marissa and Jack. Look at them both. have all been mucked out i've just quickly brought nebo and Malegro in and i've just popped on nebo just because he needs to be exercised we're having a bit poorly this week he's not worked that much so i just thought you know what i just quickly do a little hack with him yeah he was being a bit spooky at the cows <laughs> but we've got over it haven't we noobs grow out this sorry mane as you can see where he's where he's got this load of grey is where it's damaged. So up here with his hair, like it's not really grey, but this bit, it's really fine. And here's that like, really thick. So I've been trying to put, is it called um, MTG or C something oil in? Um, but yeah, it seems well. I, mean, I don't. I can't really say it seems to be improving because I've not really tried it long enough um but yeah well, i'm gonna try it and let you know how it goes i went a bit australian then um but yeah we're just gonna take him up to the grain store and back he's getting a fluffy boy but it's going back down to three degrees tonight so i don't really want to clip him when it's going down really cold so I'm just gonna have to wait hopefully next week warm up a little bit and then you can have a clip and a bath because he is absolutely rotten and he's he's looking a little bit shameful at the moment is anybody else looking at their horses thinking they look shameful right now and you feel sort of like owner guilt didn't you like oh god they shouldn't look like that which yeah to some certain extent but i think if they've got a full belly and they're warm and got clean stable that's all they really care about. They only go in the field the next day and roll and get all dirty. So, yeah, I've sort of been a bit more easier on myself where I was very sort of like, oh, there's a bit of speck of mud there. Like, Malegro, I gave up with him. Um, I was like, yeah, hair's got to be plaited. Same with Nebo. And, but it just doesn't, it doesn't work. It, the mud gets in the plaits and they roll and, oh, it's just winter it's just not great is it like when the summer you got you haven't got to really worry about them getting dirty because they're always clean but yeah don't be hard on yourself because everyone goes for it because they just they're all gonna look disgraceful together aren't they so yeah I've just put the ponies to bed with all their nice cozy rugs on but thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram which is fifi's underscore welsh underscore ponies <laughs>